What's up, everybody? It's your boy Whirlwind here. And, uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Let's not talk about it. I've been having the hardest time trying to actually draw things for myself, even Skylark. And I have a team that have been helping with their stuff. And uh, I'm not faulting them. I'm not getting onto them or nothing. This is just me more mad at myself because I've had the hardships and I think it's just life in general that's been causing me to be in a very less creative mindset. So one of the things that actually hurts me in a lot of cases when it comes down to my creativity is mostly when I draw too much for other people. It's not a bad thing because sometimes drawing for others allows me to be able to figure out more things for me, but I have drained my creativity to a nub and literally drained it to a nub where the stuff for me has been hard. Like most of you know about my series Skylark. That's a lot of writing and storytelling that I have planned and written to be able to show in a really substantial way. As much as I want it to be animated, <sighs> animation is going to be a hard thing. And there are ways for me to be able to make this story happen regardless. But I have one piece of the puzzle that I need help with. And it's a, it's a person. And it's someone that I've been watching for a while now. And I love their artwork and I would love for them to be able to help me and partner up with me. So if you guys really, really care about me trying to pull together Skylark, I'm not going to mention this artist's name, but if I can get enough likes, love and share on this video, I would like to be able to prove to this person that I would love to get their help along with me being able to, you know, pay them to be able to help me in the areas that I need to, along with my crew that I'm helping them with their stuff and I getting some more of their help because it's just been hard for us artists this, you know, time of year that's been like a struggle because of, you know, the virus the lockdowns and just everything in general. I've had a few jobs this year that have paid me on and off again. Some were, you know, a little harder to manage for me and my livelihood and a couple that uh, didn't plan out so well when it came down to keeping me and allowing me to be me throughout my work. Now, I'm not faulting them. It, it's their job. It's the way they want to run their company. It's totally fine. They have the right to feel the way they want to feel with how they hold on to things. And I still wish them the best because they gave me some really good ways to actually learn some new stuff on my own, my own part. But mostly this video is mostly here for me to talk about Skylark because it's it's been so hard for me to be able to produce this along with my co-writer you know, with him and his struggle with, you know, you know, keeping himself alive and living. It's just been tough for us to be able to work together in some cases because we're in such a weird time, you know, structure with our lives and we live in the same area. But the, here's the thing is like this video right now, it's six o'clock in the morning. I've been awake since six no since 3 p.m yesterday not everybody can live like that because i don't know when i'm going to bed but this is this is where me and my creativity is at a weird point in my life and i'm getting older i look like a kid but i'm not i'm in my 30s but these are the things that worry me at night and it keeps me up because i want to get this out and I'm trying to make sure things on my end is going the directions I want it to. And 
out of everything I'm doing, I'm having the hardest time, the, the such a hard time, because it seems like when I start working on my things, that's when more people want more of my attention when it comes down to work itself. I get a lot of companies, as soon as I start working on, on Skylark, I get a bunch of people wanting me to help them with their things. And that's cool, but it does just like run me into that thinking of like, well, I do need to make another paycheck soon because I do have these type of things that I need to pay for, for my own living and for my wife and then for medical. And there's a lot of medical in this background that I need done in both me and my family and other things like that. But it's almost like, is it wrong for me to ask for you know, people that I, that watch me, take care of me or whatever, or just talk to me for their little bit of support that they can give. It, it drives me up a wall because I know I'm one of those guys that's not quite up there and I'm still struggling to keep myself afloat with, you know, what I put out there on my social media and to fulfill some things with the people that are looking forward to my big projects and it feels like I've been letting people down like my projects are never going to actually flourish it's like I talk about them and I don't mean to talk so much about it but it's in my head all the time and I want it done and I want to share it but it's like I can't get it out fast enough and I can't get it out to be produced in the ways that I like it so with everything that's going on for this end of the year, I think I'm just going to have to produce it in the smallest frame of work that I can. And just see how that goes. It means l less efforts on my part but it does mean me getting some of the story out there to share with everybody. It's what I want to do. And I have to do it. I don't want to do it in a comic book. It just seems like that's what everybody's doing. But I, I will be doing some things in book form. But what I really, really want to do is get this as a story based thing of visual art in a cinematic way of slideshow animation tidbits of that very small portion small bits and pieces of it interacting with the actual like videos i will produce for it along with me doing some voice acting along with me hiring some voice work and just producing this the the best way i can that doesn't kill me and also me producing things for other people just to be able to keep the money flow for me to pay for the production. In a lot of cases, it's going to have to be that way because I can't do everything on my own, even though so many other people can. But I think it's because I am not the person that can just ignore certain things in my life to be able to produce for these type of things. Some people do, that's the reason why some people can produce some great feats because they have a bigger structure of support behind them. I don't have that just yet. And I'd like to, but these are the facts of certain people getting out there. Gotta start small, gotta start really small. Look, don't let this depress you, I'm not in a really bad mood about this it's just something i just wanted to get off my chest and being able to tell people that yeah i'm having trouble on my end i am human i have my struggles with my own creativity and it's one of those things that i've always had i have great amped up ideas to produce oh this thing here and that thing right there and you know, my focus has been on Skylark for so long that I've pushed aside so many of my other stories that Skylark is supposed to be my poster boy. He's my Superman. 
use my Spider-Man. And I want him to be known just as much as those characters. So if you guys, those that are watching, are cool with being able to give me whatever little bit of help you can, you know, check out my merch store. It's down in the links below. And it's small things that I've actually produced. I'll be producing more. And I'm trying to also produce some other things that allow you to interact with me a whole lot more. And I have things that I would love to give to you guys. So if you're interested, like I said, check out my links. Check out my donations of any sort. And, you know, just just know that I'm going to be producing some things here and there to entertain you guys. Some things are going to be a little weird in the story structure, but it's only because I'm doing testing and I want to show you guys some of the things that I'm actually got going on in my head. So anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. Just wanted to structure some things. I know that I've been gone for a while and this year has been hard. That's really what it is. This year has really been hard. And I know it's been hard for you guys. I'm not discrediting you for whatever crap you've been through this year. I've been through it too. I'm still going through some lawyer stuff when it comes down to me losing my car in this that crazy accident in December. I'm still going through, you know, aches and pains due to the accident and some other critical things in the backgrounds of that. But I'm still walking tall, still standing, walking around, getting out here, you know, going back and forth to different places in very small doses, very small, because most of the time I'm in this room, but you know, I have been getting out there a little bit just to be able to get a, get my, get my legs stretched just a little bit, just, just a little bit. Anyway, like I said, I'm all done making this video longer than it should be because this uh, probably one of my longest videos, I think probably not. I think my inspirational video for my buddy that I made like last year was probably longer than this, but I digress. Yo, like I said, check out my videos in my YouTube. Technically, this is my YouTube. If you're seeing this on Facebook, you know, like I said, share this thing around. I'm trying to get a lot of things going on in both my merch, my Warwind 1080 t-shirts, and I'll be actually pulling together some new graphic tees along with some slight uh, story-based slideshow stuff, animation type of things for you guys on Skylark. I've I got to get some things out and I still would like to be able to get this one artist that I really, really enjoy. So if you can get me as many views and likes on this video, videos here on the YouTube, videos also on Facebook with likes, shares and love as much as that as you can so i can actually show that this person that i'm actually talking to or trying to get to help me out with some things that they can see that uh i need their help most definitely so anyway you guys thank you for listening to me ramble thank you for you know checking out this video with everything that i've been missing out on and being able to tell you throughout these months i've been gone and uh let's enjoy the rest of the end of this year for what it's worth even though it's still 2020 let's try to let this next holiday be fun december come on it's always a great month a lot of cool things happening but like i said i digress it's 2020 we want it to be over but let's let this last month be a very very exciting month for everybody around the world all right guys i'm done i'm done take care go ahead and uppercut that like button share like subscribe and check out the links in below for anything that you would like to get to know me more through in instagram facebook anyway later days whirlwind out Is it too good to be true?
Too soon, cut between red and the green, and you. 